Okay, everyone. My name is Mr. Mashali. Now we are on our fifth lesson on our CP and for word processing editing. For today, we've got only two items, which is editing documents by changing font styles or font sizes. Let me take you to the first one. I'll quickly retrieve my document that I've already typed. First one, font style. They can ask you to change your font style of your word. Sometimes they can ask you to change your font style of a topic. Sometimes they can ask you to change a font style of the whole document. But the trick here is that if they refer to the whole document, for instance, that means you need to highlight the whole document. As it, as it is, if there are two pages, you have to highlight page one as well as page two. Once you've highlighted it, changing the font style, you go to the home topic. Then here where, where there is my cursor mouse, you click inside it. In most cases, they will ask you maybe to use an Arial Black or Korean New, but they can ask you to change the style to anything that is here. If it is not visible, you simply scroll down. You simply scroll down using your arrow. If let's say maybe they wanted a copper black, that means you scroll down until you find copper black. But luckily those things are assorted according to alphabetical order. If it was Korean new, you simply scroll down until Korean new. Once you find the one that you are looking for, you click on it. Then the font style will change to whatsoever they've asked. Let's say, for instance, in this paragraph, they've asked to you to change the style, the font style to Arial Black. That means you go to that arrow again. Then you look for Arial Black. Once you find it, you click on it. Then the style of that paragraph has changed to Arial Black. Sometimes it can be a topic, as I've said. So you highlight whatsoever they were talking about, then you just change the style. Then lastly, on our topic, they will ask you to, to change the font size. The font size, it is the size of the weight or of that topic or of that paragraph, or in, they can even include the whole document. Let me just highlight uh, this paragraph. If they ask me to change this paragraph size to 14 pt, that means next to the font stands, there is this figure that is always there. You simply click on that arrow and change it to 14. That means the word will increase to size 14 pt. Sometimes you can simply change it manually by tapping the correct figure if they ask you to change to 11 pt you simply charge you simply type 11 then press enter that means your font size will be 11 pt your all your your words or letters will be up to 11 pt now that you've covered both of the points it is just A note that those who've got textbook, a computer practice textbook, don't forget to refer to your textbook, computer practice and form. Refer to page 28 to 29 for signs. The signs will assist you when you are editing. They will show you that if there's this sign, it means you must do whatsoever. For instance, there can be a sign of SP. That SP will be meaning spelling. You must change the spelling of that correct spelling of that word. There can be a sign of N N P means it is a new paragraph. You must change that sentence to a new paragraph and so on. But please don't forget to refer to those signs so that whenever I'm talking here, you must be able to know exactly what I'm talking about. Because editing, when it comes to question papers, they normally put the signs there. Then you have to edit. But if you keep on following my lessons, we'll end up doing a simple question where we'll be dealing with it 
and in making sure that you understand the science as well as the editing part. So thank you for watching this video. I hope that you are still enjoying it and make sure that you keep on downloading the next ones until you've, we are done with all the word processing editions as well as Excel. Good luck.